Transcribed. The National Broadcasting Company presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. Far south in the vast reaches of the great Pacific Ocean, at the very back door of Asia lie tiny hidden islands of mystery called the Islands of Spice. Java, Sumatra, Borneo, Bali. Nearby, across the treacherous swirl of the Java Sea, moves a vessel whose cargo is death. But of course, Pagan Zellschmidt knows nothing of these things when he answers the phone in his room in New York. Mr. Pagan Zellschmidt speaking. Listen carefully, Zellschmidt, to what I'm going to tell you. Huh? Who are you? Listen. One week from today, the fish peddler will arrive in Batavia by boat. Got it? Sure. The fish peddler arrives in Batavia by boat in a week. So who cares? Mr. X might care. Huh? Why should he? M- Mr. Who? I-, I-, I don't know anybody with a name like that. If you know what's good for you, you'll get this information to Ken Thurston right away. But, but, if you wanted him to know, how come you didn't call him yourself? Because he'd have figured some way to trace this call. You're not that smart. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hang up on me, will you? Well, I'll tell you a couple of things or two. So you think you're wise, eh? Well, it it was very nice of you to give me a hundred dollars, Mr. Thurston. But, of course, I I didn't really expect anything, you understand, just for delivering a message. Oh, sure, pig. I'll be forced it on you. Well, I... Ken. Ken, this could be the break we've needed for two and a half years. Chief, it seems almost too good to be true. If it is true... It is the absolute truth. How could I make it up? I don't even know who is this, this fish peddler. Uh, That's the trouble. Neither do we. Huh? Pagan, we know what he is, all right. Or what she is, maybe. Yeah. The worst international crook in the whole dirty racket. The fish peddler's been back at the scenes and the taking over of every country in Eastern Europe for the past ten years. Buying and selling information. Bribery. Assassination. You can throw a good chunk of Asia into that pot, too, Chief. And come up with a winning hand. China, Korea, French Indochina. Oh, but how could one person do all those things? He or she has got a string of agents scattered all over the world, known as the net. And we don't know who any of them are. But this may be the chance, Chief. It wouldn't be the first time one of those boys got soured up on that kind of a setup and did some straight-from-the-shoulder talking. Yeah. You think that accounts for the phone call? Could be. Anyhow... Pagon and I are going to the East Indies and find out. Huh? But, Mr. Thurston, Pagon, I... if this turns out to be one of your bum steers, I want to know exactly where to lay your hands on you. Chief, I'll wire you from Macassar. Macassar? I thought that message said the boat would arrive in Batavia. The Dutch Airlines office says the only boat due in Batavia one, one week from today is a cargo liner from Macassar. Makes a three-day run across the Java Sea. And I'm going to be on board. <laughs> Thurston. Smells like a fruitcake. Spice market, Pagan. If you want a ton of cinnamon, here's the place to buy it. <laughs> what would I do with a ton of... Ooh, look, Mr. X. Over then, that blue sarong. Pagan. <whistles> Pagan. Well, I was only... Here hanging. now. Here's the Ristafel Cafe. Come on. Is this where that Captain Jansold hangs out? That's what the shipping agent said. Let's go in. Thanks. We're looking Always for... Always glad to see a new face. Step right in and shake hands with Michael Joseph Zichitella, the Tom Cat of the keyboard. Hiya. The world's greatest hot piano player, bar none. Sit down, sit down. You ask me about Ellington, Jelly Roll Morton, I never heard of him. Here, take a listen. Get this character. How about it? Yeah. Well, that's... Uh... Right. Use that as my theme for 16 months at a nightclub off Piccadilly. 
Went from there to the Follies Berger. Played a full season back in 27. Hey, remember this one? Uh, it brings back memories. Oh, sure, sure. Now, look, Just I wonder... call me Joe. Everybody calls me Joe. This cafe job's only a fill-in, you understand? Yeah, yes, Got a sure. big engagement over at the Opera House in Batavia next week. A solid 30 minutes. Yeah, that's a... great. Great, Joe. Maybe we'll catch your act over there. But right now, I want to talk to Captain Janssut. Uh, Janssut? Uh, somebody want to talk with Janssut? Wait here, Pagan. Yeah, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Captain Janssut. Cargo line and Empark, uh, Macassar to Batavia. My name's Ken Thurston, Captain. <laughs> Happy to know you, man here. Uh, you want passage, maybe? Yeah, for two. You got room? Yeah, yeah, plenty room. Only three, four passengers so far. We, we sail in the morning. Fine. Then if you've no objection... If you will pardon me, Captain Yansu. Huh? Perhaps I should be going now. Ah, <laughs> forgive me. Uh, Monia Thurston. Permit me to introduce Dr. Mohammed Singh. Uh, Dr. Singh is a... Uh, uh, how you say it again? Uh, a zoologist, Mr. Thurston, specializing in the study of reptiles. I have collected some specimens from the jungles here to take back to Batavia. Yeah. I understand there are all kinds of strange reptiles around here these days. I hope you're satisfied with the specimens you've collected, Dr. Singh. Oh, yes. Yes. Quite satisfied, Mr. Thurston. They will make excellent additions to my collection. All of them are quite vicious. Quite deadly. Ah, snakes in boxes. <laughs> it's a funny business. Yeah. You're sailing with us then, Dr. Singh? That is correct, Mr. Thurston. I trust the voyage will give us time to become better acquainted. And perhaps if circumstances allow, you will be able to make the acquaintance of my reptiles also. I'm certain you will find them most interesting. Yeah. Thanks for the kind invitation. It will be my humble pleasure, Mr. Thurston. I will see you later, then. Sure. See you on board, Doctor. Ah, it is a funny cargo sometimes, I carry. Yeah, especially funny on this trip. Huh? Captain, one of your passengers happens to be wanted. Wanted, money? Yes, by almost every one of the Western nations in the UN. You mean he is... Uh... Oh, yeah, I see. And uh, you know maybe who it is? Not yet. I may need your help. Monir, it is my business to haul cargo or passenger. It's not my business to catch criminal like this one. It, it, it no bother me. I, I no bother him. I no want trouble with nobody. I, 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 I Hello, just Bob. mind... Going to take me to dinner? You are? Well, I, I, I forgot you coming here. Uh, Mania Thurston is uh, Johanna. How do you do? Is this your daughter, Captain? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we go eat now, Johanna. Glad to, Pop. I'm starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, come, come, I'm come. I'm happy to have met you, Miss Janschult. Are you going with us in the morning by any chance? What? Why, yes, Mr. Thurston. I am, as a matter of fact. Why do you ask? Oh, let's not bother with it now. We'll have a lot of time to talk about it before we get to Batavia. There she is, Pagan. The cargo liner Nambok. Macassar to Batavia. That? <laughs> Looks like a rusty old bathtub my uncle Ahmed once gave to my aunt Zenobia for a birthday present. Yeah. Not as trim as most of the Dutch ships we'll see in these waters. Maybe this Captain Janssold has got worries in his mind that don't pay attention enough to business. Could be, Pagan. Here, yeah, let's get aboard. Oh, sure. How that old geezer ever got such a luscious lollipop for a daughter like that Joanna? I'll Going know. somewhere, mister? Yeah. Aboard the Nambok. Any objection? Maybe. What's your name? Ken Thurston. And I'm Pagan Zelschmidt. We're both of us going yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, I know. Maybe someday the skipper will learn that passengers are bad luck on freighters. Never seen any yet that didn't bring trouble with them. Sounds like you're expecting some on this trip, mister. Who are you? Anderson, first officer. And you're right. I am expecting trouble. Plenty of it. Any particular kind? With rusted boilers ready to blow, bow plates ready to split wide open if we hit even a lemon crate... 
What's your guess? Well, sounds like all the makings of a pleasant little journey. <laughs> Mr. Thurston? Yeah, me? Mr. Thurston. Welcome aboard. I should have that little cookie in the blue sarong on this trip, Mr. X. <laughs> I never saw such moonlight before. Yeah, it's like daylight, Dale. You can almost see the Java coast over there. You do what I told you to? Mr. Thurston, I've been buying drinks for all these characters in the lounge, trying to get them to talk. Well? Well, Joe plays that piano and talks about Broadway back in 1926. All that Dr. Singh cares about the snakes. Captain Yansel talks about eating. Johanna? <laughs> She spends all her time with you. Yes, yeah, she's, um, she's very interesting. Mr. X, these people don't know from nothing. I don't think this fish peddler crook is even on board. Anyhow, I'm practically broke. Yeah, the only chance you'd have of making any money is a way that's out of the question. Huh? You, you, you mean there is a way? Well, the fish peddler will probably pay plenty to find out who I am. You mean... Oh, 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 but... <laughs> no. Like you said, Mr. X, it's out of the question. I wouldn't tell her so. Oh, I know that. Of course you wouldn't. No, Pagan, as a matter of fact, I don't know who he really is. Tell me about it. He's the man called X. You don't say... How about that? Well, maybe it's worth about 50 bucks to find out, huh? Joe, my friend? As a matter of fact, Pagan, my friend, I was wondering if I could borrow about five from you. Just until we get to Batavia, of course. Of course, I wouldn't tell this to another soul, Dr. Singh, but Mr. Thurston is really called Mr. X. So? I find this most interesting. Most interesting. So maybe it's worth about a uh, hundred bucks, eh? Mr. Zeltsmith, to a poor scientist, such an amount seems staggering. Oh, my good friend, please take my advice and never become a zoologist. Financially, it is most unprofitable. You mean, you mean Ken Thurston, the man called X? Oh, sure, I know him for years. But then... Who else have you told about this? Oh, not a soul. I only thought you might like to... Hey! Hey, wait! I'll see you later, Mr. But, but... Oh. Ken! Ken! Ken? Are you in here? That you, Ken? Who are you? Who are you? Wait! No! No! Oh, uh, Captain Janslow. Huh? What are you thirsty? That's right. Maybe. I thought you'd show up here on the bridge sooner or later. Uh, here, mister, you take the bridge. Uh, uh, why you want to see me, money? Same thing. The fish peddler. Fish peddler, fish peddler. I tell you, it's no my business. Somebody that vicious is everybody's business. But you tell me you don't even know who is it, this, this uh, fish peddler. I may know pretty quick. Oh? And, uh... Just how do you intend to Mr. prove? Thurston, Mr. Thurston! What is it, Pega? Mr. Thurston, come quick, down to your cabin. What's the matter? It's Joanna. My daughter, what has happened? Well, she, I mean, she's... Uh, oh, come on, let's have it. She's she's lying in a door at your cabin, Mr. Thurston. Somebody killed her dead. Blood all over. How about carrying her into the wardroom, Captain? Didn't I see a couch in there? Uh, yeah, I'm in here, mm. Right this way. Oh, my poor you are. Easy. Hey, you easy. Watch your step. Poor little Petunia. I wonder who could be such a dirty you no know, account. Yeah. Here, the wardroom. Right 
over to the couch with her pig on. Easy now. There. Now, Captain, what about your first aid equipment? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right here it is. But uh, will it be enough for my poor little girl? We'll soon find out. Now, let's see. Oh, poor Hand me that roll of gauze, Pagan. Here you are, Mr. Thurston. Uh, uh, thank heaven she is not dead. When he tells me to... You, you come to preach and say my daughter is dead, and oh, I, uh, I think I'll die too, right, right there. Well, she looked kind of dead. No wonder. Whoever did that wasn't fooling. Oh, but yet, Nelson, if I, if I ever find who has done this, with these two hands, I break his yeah, yeah. bones into... And I, I know I'm... someone who'll lend you a helping hand. Uh, yeah. That's the best I can do. Uh, you think she... She will be all right, Monier. I'm no doctor, Captain. My guess would be that the sooner we reach one in Batavia, the better. Well, I, I will order them full speed ahead. If the boilers I burst, I will get my young man. what is that? Hey, sounds maybe like a torpedo or a pirate or a mine. Or maybe somebody called the fish peddler pig, huh? The fish pet? Hey, now the engine stopped. Oh, Emil, what is happening on my ship? I think we better find out. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, Manier. You must get those engines going here. Otherwise, by your hand, I might... You might... Well... Doctor. Good day, Mr. Thurston. How long have you been standing outside the wardroom, Dr. Singh? Standing, Mr. Thurston? You are mistaken. I was approaching the door as you opened it. Uh. It was my intention to inquire as to the well-being of the young lady. My daughter, Johanna? Yes. I trust her injuries are none too serious. Is that just sympathetic solicitude, Doctor, or a more personal concern? I fail to grasp your meaning, Mr. Thurston. Do you? Then how come you knew that Johanna had been injured in the first place? It was your most estimable friend, Mr. Zeldsmith, who informed me. That's a lie, besides which it isn't true. I didn't tell nobody enough. So... So then, if nobody was telling you, there is only one answer. You were the one who... With these hands of mine, I will take hold you it, and I... Hold it, hold it. Uh, Let's uh, get an answer first. All right, all right. Uh, but it had better be an excellent one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Dr. Singh, what is your answer? The one I gave you, Mr. Thurston. I heard Mr. Zeldsmith informing you and Captain Jan Sult of the unfortunate occurrence to Miss Johanna. It was purely sympathetic solicitude, as you put it, that prompted my inquiry as to her present state of health. Now do I receive an answer? Uh, if we can repair those engines and get to Batavia first, she'll be all right. Ah, excellent. Thank you for relieving my mind. Now, with your permission, I shall remove myself to the lounge. Good day, gentlemen. My near Thurston. I don't know. Pagon, why don't you go to the lounge with him? Go with him? But he could be this fish peddling guy. Yes, but maybe he's not. And the real peddler might pay a visit to this wardroom while you're here with Joanna. Sure, that's just what I'm talking. He might? Make up your own mind, Pagon. Come on, Captain. Let's take a look at that engine room. Yeah, my near Thurston. Those engines, we must get them running again. But Mr. Thurston! But Mr. X! Is that you, Captain Yonsu? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what has happened down here with the engines? That explosion aft damaged the rudder. She wouldn't answer the wheels, so the first officer had to stop the engines. Just where was that explosion? Aft somewhere else. The first officer's checking on it now. All right. Keep steam up. They're going to need it. Aye, aye, sir. Come on, Captain. Let's see what the first officer can tell us about this. Maybe he... Bloody your thirst. Yeah. Let's get up there, fast. Uh, there, there's the first officer now, Bloody your thirst. Uh, at the head of the companion. Right? Yes, I see him here. What's going on up there, mister? I, uh... Somebody took a couple of shots at me, sir, while I was trying to check the rudder controls on the bridge. Well, who was it, do you know? No, sir. They were fired from the shadows. A ten to one, it's the same guy who took care of the hatch covers. The hatch covers? What about them? They're all battened down. The whole crew's locked down below decks. Except the engineer. 
Captain, can we reach the crew's quarters through the engine room? No, uh, there's no possible way. Oh, then we can't let them out now. Whoever tried it will be too easy a target out there in the moonlight. That's right, sir. Do you have a gun? Uh, no, sir. What about you, Captain? Uh, I, I do not carry one. Uh, but we have weapons in a lock in the radio room. Three pistols, one rifle. Good. That should be enough to hold off the fish peddler while we radio Batavia for a seaplane to bring a doctor and a police inspector. Isn't the radio shack just after this companionway? Let's see if we can make that without being shot at. Yeah, I'm with you, Mon uh, Come along, mister. Okay, sir. So far, so good. Either he hasn't spotted us or... Uh, there's the door to the radio shack. Come on. Oh, no. What's the matter, Captain? Radio. All smashed to pieces. What about the gun locker? Oh, there it is, my dear. Look for yourself. Yeah. Forced to open. Empty. Then that means... That means the fish peddler's doing a pretty thorough job. But why, my dear? Why is this person acting so now? And what is on his mind for the future? I think he's found out who I am and feels he's getting pushed into a corner. So... Oh, so, him again, Monia Thurston. I make bad mistake before. I think criminal is not my business. This mistake I, I do not make again. That's what I figured, Captain. But he is adrift on this ship along with the rest of us. What does he hope to do now? Let's pay a little visit to the lounge and find out. Hello, Mr. Thurston. Everything is under control. Yeah, I can see it is, Pagan. Step right in, gentlemen. Bend an ear. Won't cost you a cent. Thanks, Joe. Glad to find you and Pagon in such a cheerful frame of mind. Why not? If we're gonna get mitered, we're gonna get mitered. That's all. Why don't you have a little drink, too? No, thanks. Pagon, where's Dr. Singh? Uh, who knows? I was keeping a very close watch on him. But all of a sudden, poof, he was gone. Oh, sure. Then except for him and the crew below decks, all of us are right here in the lounge. Your Honor! We forget about your honeyman here. Is she all right, you think? I locked the wardroom door, Captain. Ah, oh, it's right. I, I forget. Well, <laughs> what we do now? We identify the man I'm after. Uh, how you find out? Who is he, Mr. Thurston? Right now, he's probably the only person on board beside me who's got a gun. That's all I wanted to know, Thurston. Don't move. Ooh. Well, Joe... So you're the fish peddler. Smart guess, Thurston. Only it's a little late. I'll take your gun. Thanks. All right, now just take it easy. Maybe no one will be hurt. You try to kill my Johanna. Shut you... up, Pop. Your daughter shouldn't have barged in on me while I was going through Mr. X's cabin. Well, uh, oh, Joe, what are your plans? Very simple for a spur of the moment idea. It's less than 10 miles to the Java coast, so I'm taking the power launch and heading in. I see. And with the ship's radio knocked out and the motor's dead, we don't have much of a chance of contacting anybody before sometime tomorrow. That's right. Hmm? Now let's go out and lower the launch. If you do a good job of it, maybe I'll let all of you wave goodbye to me. Cheer up, my friends. In five minutes, I'll be gone and off your hands. Now, here. Uh, gentlemen, what is happening? Dr. Singh. Been looking for you, doctor. Come on, fall in with the rest of them. Uh, Mr. Thurston, why does this man have a gun? Tell you about that later, doctor. Right now, we've got to help friend Joe get this launch into the water. All right, Captain Janschult. Push out that stern, Daffet. Uh, to help murder escape is bad business. I'm afraid we haven't got much choice. All right. Let her down. Glad you're so good-natured about this, Thurston. I was afraid I might have a little trouble with you. What's the use? You're the one who's got the gun. Well, there she is, ready to go. Good. My deepest thanks to all of you. Now move back down the deck. I don't want to get slugged with a wrench when I drop down into this launch. That's it. Keep moving. Farther yet. He'll get away. Yes, nothing can be done. Don't be too sure about that. Oh, what the... Mr. X, 
And this coil of rope. Guns. Guns. Hey, don't you shut up. So you found him, huh? Hit the deck, fast. Give me that gun. He has hidden behind that ventilator. Yeah. He's undercover, but he can't move away from oh, it. Oh, but these guns. I found them where he'd hidden them before we went into the lounge. I was waiting until he went over the side. All right, Joe. Game's over. Come on out. Thurston? I think we can make a deal. Not a chance. Not even for the names and addresses of the net? The rest of my organization? Huh? I've got a list of all 26 of my agents here in a notebook. Well? I can toss it to you, or I can throw it overboard. It's up to you. What do you want for it? Your word that I can leave in the launch without being shot at. It's a deal, Joe. Let's have the book. I thought so. Here. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. So long, chums. But money at first. I'll trade one for 26 any day, Captain. <sighs> but this is the one who has killed my Johanna. We cannot get hold of good TV in time now. There's plenty of time. She only had superficial cuts. She's all right. All right. But, but you said... Just trying to get reactions from those aboard. And I wouldn't worry about Joe getting away. We'll have him back by the end of the week. There's no place for him to hide in Java. If you will pardon me, Mr. Thurston, might I disagree with you slightly? In what way, Dr. Singh? I should like to express the probability that Mr. Zichitela will never reach the coast of Java. No, why not? I overheard what was happening in the lounge. <laughs> what a character. He's got ears like a couple of elephants. I took the liberty of emptying one of my specimen boxes into the bottom of the launch. Those snakes? Yes, snakes. Quite deadly. They were rather sluggish, but perhaps by now the heat of the launch motor has made them very lively. Ooh. And he won't even know about them until one of them hits him. Well... Well, it serves him right, Mr. Thurston. He'd just as soon kill anybody as look at them. Yeah, you may be right at that, Pagan. In a way, there's nothing we can do about it now. Isn't there an old proverb here in the East Indies, something about the conscience of an evil man being sharper than the fangs of a venomous serpent? Maybe Joe could tell us if that's true or not. Right about now. <laughs> Now, here is our star, Mr. Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. Next week, our story is called A Journey to Xenophon, a journey that is started by an innocent old lady and ends with Mr. X encountering one of the most vicious international rackets of his career. And as usual, where rackets are concerned, we find his playmate, Pagon Zellschmidt, portrayed as usual by Leon Belasco. So join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, is a J. Richard Kennedy production and is directed by Jack John Stone, with music composed and conducted by Felix Mills. Tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield, with additional scenes and dialogue by Sidney Marshall. All characters and incidents used on this transcribed program are fictitious, and any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. So until next week, same time, same station, this is Jack Latham saying good night for The Man Called X. Three chimes mean good times on NBC. The chimes ring for Dennis Day and Judy Canova tomorrow night on NBC. Dennis gets himself into more merry mix-ups, but still has time to sing in his beautiful tenor voice. And Judy Canova goes operatic tomorrow because her guest on the Judy Canova show is H.C.O. Pinsa. <laughs>